My name is Leslie from Tap Gallery and here on the wall today we have uh, some wonderful artwork by Aziz Ulas. Aziz Ulas was a close friend of mine and a colleague. We did many art projects together and sadly just recently he passed away from lung cancer. Uh, we, he left behind a, an incredible body of work which is impressive and uh, incre incredibly original and striking. Um, we are in a quandary as to what to do with his wonderful work because he was ready a long time ago to be taken by a dealer gallery and be represented. And as in Tap Gallery, we're an artist-run space, so we don't represent artists, but we try to support them along their way and give their leg up to move on. Uh, Aziz had a couple of shows here at Tap, um, highly impressive, wonderful work. Um, and it's a total shame that in the peak of his career that he passed away. Um, we have got a special exhibition here today, which is only his small works. He did many huge works that were meant for corporate foyers and um, they're so uh, magical and impressive. Um, this one is called, this work here is called Experiment 10. Uh, he's got a few down here, we're, we're still hanging the show. His bigger works are incredibly large. Um, you'll have to see them to believe them and incredibly rich. But these are his experiments here. Uh, this uh, symbolic theme of the face uh, is in a lot of his works. He makes social comment about things, but um, uh, will be, more of that will be said at his ESP exhibition coming up in September, I think it is. Um, but uh, you can see the richness of the colour is amazing. Uh, now this one of course is cut out shapes that have been sunk into the resin. I don't know whether you can see on camera, the richness of this blue and the depth of the work is just incredible. Um, I'll be the proud owner of one of his works. Um, I think that um, everybody should collect some of his fabulous stuff. Um, we are going to have another exhibition soon at another gallery called ESP which hopefully will go successfully and will be more of his very big work. He ha had an incredible sense of colour and depth. Uh, he called these works sculpt picks so they're sculptures but they're wall sculptures so he uh, cut out shapes and sunk them into resin. Uh, he, he was experimenting and as far as I know there's nobody else in the world who's doing the work that Aziz was doing. The tragedy of Aziz uh, never being taken by a dealer gallery and having such a large body of work is not an unusual story in Australia. It's extremely hard for artists to make it, make a living. They say 2% of artists actually make a living out of their work. However, Australia is riddled with extremely talented, wonderful, productive artists. So it is, as I said, it is an incredible tragedy for Aziz to pass away, leaving all this work behind. But I'm sure there are many more the same thing has happened to. So I don't know what the answer is. The, the economy, uh, the global economy at the moment, of course, has been tragic for everybody in the art world. But artists, um, Australians need to understand and realise how important art is in everybody's life that they should support artists and buy artists' work. Not for the investment, I think this is the wrong reason why you buy art, but because you support the artist and because their artwork is just beautiful. Um, the, the, um, I'm gonna make a comment now about the investment art, you know, the big artists in Australia that make it, the artists that are just about to pop off, like the Blackmans and the um, Dickersons and stuff. I'm not sure if they are investment art as a such. Who knows what's going to happen in 50 years? Um, I don't think that it matters. I think that it's greed that creates that sort of um, purchasing of art. I think that everybody in Australia should realise they need to su support their contemporary artists now who are making comments about our daily lives, about social history, and support the artists that need it. Every artist needs to make a living, and every artist needs to survive. It's tragic, tragic that an artist dies without being recognised when they are such a genius, 
within their own body of work, but so many of them, so many it's happened to that it, it just frustrates me. And that's one of the reasons why I run Tap Gallery, to give artists that leg, give them a lift and make them be present and um, be seen by the public and the world in general. Artists can't hide their work under their bed like I did for many years. You need to get out there and educate the Australian public to buy art.